Hey guys, welcome to the Astro Dog channel. What we're going to do today, we're going to review the Fujiyama range of eyepieces. Now the Fujiyamas, they're made by Ohi in Japan. Um, you'll notice there the um, box. Um, the box looks extremely similar to the Teleview ones. Coincidence? Perhaps not. I always wonder about that. Perhaps they made uh, Teleview markets it out to them. We're not sure. Now the wonderful thing about these um, Ohi eyepieces, you might be familiar with the um, classic um, volcano top uh, orthoscopic eyepieces and that's exactly what these are they're the um, it's made by the same factory that those original eyepieces were made in and they are available in a range of magnifications we've got this one here which is a four uh, which is extremely powerful eyepiece we have four five six seven nine twelve and a half eighteen and twenty five um, with these orthoscopics, they have zero distortion, perfect color rendition. Um, they're quite extraordinary eyepieces. They give you a field of view of about 45 degrees, um, which is extremely comfortable. Um, what's interesting about these ones um, is if, uh, you can get them as a complete set. Um, you can also purchase them individually um, if you wish to build up your, um, your set uh, of magnifications that you need. It comes with both a bottom and a top cap that we have. Here we are. We have um, Fujiyama uh, high definition orthoscopic 4mm, fully multicated op optics. Um, just to uh, emphasize, they are uh, fully blackened, so you have a nice dull uh, matte paint from the inside. They are also somewhat baffled and threaded, which gives it additional light absorption. And in fact, these are interesting um, because you can just imagine the, the amount of careful attention that needs to go into fabricating um, eyepieces of that sort of size uh, and getting it just right. So you would definitely want a guided uh, scope of some kind, I, th I would imagine, um, to use this one here. I would not um, like to pursue an object across the sky uh, on a manual mount with this uh, unless you have very good slow motion controls and excellent alignment and you'll be all right with it. So overall, if you're just starting out, I would recommend probably grab a six or a seven, um, followed by the other sizes. These ones here are certainly only if your scope has the aperture to support that sort of um, light. You wouldn't want to go to a four if you had a little 60 mil refractor or something like that. It just couldn't handle it. It would give you a very dim image and you'd end up being disappointed with quite an extraordinary eyepiece. So um, all of these, as I said, they are made in Japan. They're uh, fantastic eyepieces. Um, we think you should probably have a collection of these uh, ready to go. They're particularly good for planetary um, and also for looking at objects where you want, uh, complete, you want to be completely free of distortion. So thanks for looking at the little review of these. Uh, that's uh, 1300 Astro Dog. Um, thanks for visiting our channel.